is up YouTube. Um, today, I really just gonna be waiting to see if I receive any phone calls from these jobs that I applied for. Um, just pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. Still trying to get used to not overdoing it as far as being a normal human being. I've been stressing myself out a lot lately about life in general because of things that aren't being done or me not working like I don't have a room here. Um, again, for those who don't know, I am 26 years old, so not doing a whole lot makes me feel terrible. Um, I understand it's not a super old age, but at the same time, me personally, just me, uh, just seeing how a lot of things are going in life, I feel like I'm behind. So, pretty sure I've had this conversation before. With me explaining how I be feeling bad. I'm not, I feel like I'm not doing enough in life. And I get that everybody moving their own pace, but it sucks feeling like I didn't feel like I had everything, but I felt not necessarily comfortable, but I felt okay in the sense of, oh, damn, the camera's way too high. I felt okay in the sense of, I got, I got shit under control. I guess going from feeling like I have it under control to not having it under control it was a big change for me and that shit was kind of tough. I'm still trying to, still trying to make it like, get myself to understand like it's not that big of a deal, shit happens. But like, I feel like I've lived, and I know it's not, I know I haven't lived a long time, but like 26 is, that's, that's a good amount of time in life. Ain't and I just feel like I'm not doing it. Even though, like, I do so much shit, but at the same time, I just feel like it's not enough, in my opinion. YouTube, music, working, just, I feel like I need to do more. I feel like every second of my life needs to be busy. And I know that sounds crazy, but, like, that's literally how my brain works. But, um... Uh, Get a shirt from the trip. Main thing is, I think reality hit, and uh, a lot of times reality is often. Uh, Reality is often sometimes discouraging, I guess you could say. Discouraging, disappointing. Reality is terrible. to figure out stuff on your own. Um, it's not a bad thing, but like having no sense of direction is, is, is not, it's not the best thing either. Um, I feel like I've been trying for a long time. And uh, I'll just become become very unmotivated towards a lot of things. Like I can't drive myself to like do certain things. Like I've really just accepted life for what I feel like it is. And that's probably not the best thing. But 
it's just how I'm looking at a lot of things right now. Like I really be feeling like, okay, none of this is, none of this is for a reason. Like it's a lot of pointless things that we're caring so much about that we really shouldn't care that much about. And um, I think that's one of the hardest things for me is like, accepting life for what it is or what I feel like it is and then just completely not caring um I don't really know how to get how to understand what I'm trying to say but I guess I don't I don't know not having any goals or not having the the, the motivation to complete certain goals there's a lot of shit I want to do it's a lot of shit I wanted to accomplish but I just can't push myself to do it anymore Back, back, like, I'd say about a couple months ago, I was like, I don't know, I guess it's more to this mental stuff than we really know. Um, some days I wake up and I'm, like, super motivated and I'll get shit done in some days. Well, most days it's this. Um, it's not that important to me. Hold that thought. Um, yeah, so. It's just, I be feeling like. I really just accepted everything, honestly. And it's, I don't really know how to get out of that. I don't know, but I don't really know how to change that. I feel like once you accept something, that's just what it's going to be from now on. Like, it's not really a whole lot you can do about it. Um, at least in my case, I feel like it's not. And the only reason I say that is because it's like, no matter what I'm doing, I feel like I'm not doing enough. No matter how good things seem, it's, I don't know, it's like once reality really hits, it's a whole different, like, it's a whole different thing. I don't really know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Again, reality is often disappointing. So one of the best ways I can explain it. Um, I guess trying so hard to get certain things done and feeling like no matter what you do, it's just impossible to achieve certain things. I guess that's really been getting to me too. It's like people be saying hard work pays off, but at the same time, bro, it's like some people work hard their whole life and still don't be successful. So it's, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. I feel like it'd be like a hit or miss or some shit I don't really know cause I've learned a lot of different things over the past few years but it seems like nothing holds nothing grabs my attention enough to really just focus on that one thing that and like ADHD is a mug like so it's it's, it's hard to really focus on just one thing cause there's so many different things going through my mind like I'd be up all hours of the night like I've probably been staying up about I wake up let's say 5 6 p.m. sometimes 10 p.m. and I stay up all night all day and then I probably fall asleep at like 7 p.m. wake back up 5 6 a.m. like my sleep schedule is all over the place but it's like I be up all hours of the night thinking about so many different things that I know how to do but trying to figure out which one I want to lean towards more and it's like even when I have those thoughts, I still sit back and I be like, well, honestly, none of this stuff really matters because it don't matter. I don't know. I don't know. I really just, I really just be feeling like nothing matters. I know I say that a lot, but like, I don't think y'all understand, like, at the level I'm talking about, like, I've accepted so many things that I really feel like whatever happens, just whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing really bothers me as in like failure way. Cause I felt like I've already failed. So like, I don't, I feel like because I haven't, how can I say this? I feel like, I feel like I've already failed. So there's no failing twice. So like, Regardless of what happens in the future, I feel like I can't get no worse. 
or I can't feel no worse than what I already feel because I feel like I haven't really done much. I feel like I haven't really achieved anything or done any any life changes shit or made a difference in anybody's life or anything like that. I really just be feeling like I really just be feeling like I'm just here. I'm just roaming the world. I don't really know how to change that mindset. Hopefully one day I can figure something out, but like, as of right now, I guess just doing so many different things and not having like an actual true goal behind nothing is keeping me in a certain pl uh, place in my life. Even when I was working, I feel like I didn't have goals. I was just working. Like I was still just doing the same thing. I was going through life, just going through life. <laughs> Instead of like having goals, like I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. But it was more just an idea or a thought or me giving myself some type of something to work towards. Because everything that I was wanting was coming so fast, it was just like, okay, cool, whatever. I don't really know. But yeah, so. I gotta see it. Um, hold on. I really wish I had a flip out screen. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think the problem is getting the things I want. It's it's keeping them. Like a lot of the things I've ever said I wanted, I, I usually get. Like I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this job, I'm gonna make this amount of money, I'm gonna get this type of car. Um but now I feel like I've done so many different things that I can't get myself out of. I don't know how to really explain that part, but I put myself in a situation that I can't really get myself out of um, financially, I guess you would say. But again, it comes back to like, at the end of the day, that's not gonna matter. Like in a couple of years, all this shit's gonna be either paid for or like forgiven. I don't know how to really, you know, but it's just be a lot of things I'll be thinking about on a day to day. And I'll be trying to come up with solutions, but there's literally nothing that that that's gonna make a big difference. Uh, I can work a job once I actually get one and I can bust my ass every day all day and I still won't get caught up on certain things. It'll take years, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. And I can only blame myself for that. When I was working, I was trying to buy things that would keep me from like, I would, I would, this is crazy. I would buy things that I ain't gonna say I couldn't afford because obviously when I was working, I could afford whatever like I was working. But I would buy things to where it's like, okay, if I buy this, I have to keep working in order to pay this off. Like I can't just quit. And I didn't think like, it was going to be me quitting. I was just thinking like, okay, well, as long as I got this stuff and I got stuff to work towards, I can keep this job. Because it's, it's like working when you have to, opposed to working when you don't have to, it's like, I don't know how to really explain that. And me personally, I feel like if I was to work and did have nothing that I had to pay for, like no car payment, no, no actual responsibilities, because like the money I was making outside of work was enough to like, help with other stuff but like once that mindset thing switched and I started like making bad decisions and impulsive decisions and losing money and stuff like that then that's when things got crazy so it was like I was like okay if I if I buy this and try to have it for like payments then I shouldn't quit because I have to get you know what I'm saying I didn't think of it like something within the job could go wrong and they could end up like you know a certain situation at work happens and I get uh, like I don't know how to really word that me losing my job on their end not on my end like oh well we're gonna do this instead so just wait till we call you back not thinking like oh well I quit instead of that it's more like oh well we'll give you a call when we move you around to a different like 
area or a different shift or a different management, whatever the case may be. So it's like, I don't know. I put myself in, in a terrible financial uh, position. And I really feel like unless I win a freaking lottery, there's no way I'm catching up on a lot of stuff. Um, and that's fine. Like I said, I ain't got nobody to blame but myself because like I said, I got a terrible impulsive problem. So like when I made certain purchases, it was off of impulse, knowing I wasn't going, or not knowing I wasn't going to be able to afford it, but like knowing like if I lose this job, I ain't going to be able to afford it. But I didn't think like, oh, I'm losing my job because of something a supervisor done or because of the company itself. I didn't have those type of thoughts. I was like, okay, as long as I get up and go to work, I'm gonna always have the job, and that was not the case. Um, but yeah. So reality again. Uh, I guess I was living in like this. I have made up this world in my mind, like everything is always all bad, and even when it's not bad because I've created this world in my head, it still feels like it's bad. Like I'll wake up some days and there can literally be nothing wrong. But in my mind, I'm living the worst life possible. And I'm constantly like stressing myself out because I'm like, damn, I need to get my family out of this situation. Or damn, I need to put my family in a better position. And I'm not even thinking about myself. I'm always thinking about everybody else. So I'm like, damn, I don't want to, if I do this, I'm going to put this person in a, a situation or if I don't do this and then my family will always struggle. And it's like, we're not the most, I don't want to say we're struggling, not like we used to, but we're not, we're, we definitely could be in a better position. And I think that's why I stress myself out so much because like, I'm the only one I feel who can really put us in a better position because I'm not saying my, my sisters and them not doing that with their life but it's like the stuff that I know and the stuff that I'm capable of I know if I became successful I could change everybody's life and that's just family like close family you know like kids sister mom like I could put them in a way better position than what they are now and again it's not bad but in my head like I know it could be better so in my head it's bad you know what I'm saying and I feel like I'm the only one that think like this so like me being stressed out about music, like, bro, if I could only get that one shot, like, all it would take is that one shot, and I know I wouldn't even let my family down, because, like, out of all the things that I've learned and all the things I'm good at, I feel like music is the one thing I could do every single day and not get tired of. It. Like, people can hit me up, like, hey, let's hit the studio, and I'd be like, shit, I'm already there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like music is really that thing that I could do every second of my life and not get tired of, because I just love it so much, but it's like, I don't know, I stressed myself out so much that I just told myself none of it matters. None of it matters, none of it matters. I kept telling myself it don't matter because if I didn't tell myself that I was gonna continue to stress myself out, like, okay, you need to do this, you need to get this done now. Like, time is not slowing down for nobody. And I felt like I was wasting it, even though I was being as productive as I have been being, regardless of what I was doing, whether I was working, not working, making videos, not making videos, even those days where I said I wasn't going to be recording, I wasn't going to be doing something, I was still trying to figure out what I can do in order to make these videos or what I can do in order to like get to the next level. Like no matter what, like even investing in stuff and, and constantly failing and losing money, and I was like, bro, I'm going to keep doing it until it works because you don't continuously do something to get worse at it. But it's just like some things for me personally, the slightest inconvenience is not like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. It's more like, damn, my life is over. This is it. Like, what am I going to do now? Like, it could be the slightest inconvenience in my mind makes it the biggest, most, oh, your life is over now because you made one little mistake. Like, and that's with anything and everything. So, I don't know. It just be a lot, a lot, and a lot of times. So. I don't know. I had to tell myself it doesn't matter in order for me to start freaking out so much. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. That's how I'm looking at a lot of stuff. Like, I know with my music, you have to promote, you have to get yourself out there, but I tell myself if it happened, it happened. If it don't, it don't. Because some people do stuff and don't expect nothing from it, and it becomes the biggest thing in the world. 
And so I'm like, whatever happens, once I post this song or once I post this video, if it blows up, it blows up. If it don't, it don't. I'm not out here constantly in everybody's face. Hey, check this out. Hey, check that out. Hey, could you check this out? Hey, could you stream my music? Could you? I don't like doing stuff like that. I've never been the type to do stuff like that. I'm more of a, if this person sees this on their own time, cool. Now, it's, at one point I was sharing my music and it was getting viewed and like the videos I was making was getting viewed and stuff like that. But I got to a point to where it's like, I was like, okay, well I'm getting these amount of views so I shouldn't have to share it anymore. I'm getting these amount of comments so it don't matter if other people see it or not. Like, I felt like I was doing a certain thing. I really, I really feel like a lot of the things I wanted to do in life, I've accomplished. Like, I didn't hit a million on YouTube, but I felt like, okay, I hit 5,000. 5,000 people seen my face. 5,000 people seen the videos I made. 5,000 people know my name now. That's cool. I didn't perform on stage, but I had performed in front of my folks. Yeah, I wasn't on stage, but I've done something of that nature. Like, okay, cool. You got that done. I didn't make a million dollars, but I made a thousand dollars and I was able to hold a thousand or two thousand or three thousand, whatever the case may be. I wasn't rich or anything like that, but I, I've touched money, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like because of how I looked at a lot of those things, I feel like, well, I've already lived my life because I've already done the things I wanted to do. I haven't been to a professional studio, but I've recorded here. I've recorded at my mom's. I've recorded at my homies. I've recorded around, you know what I'm saying? I've recorded at my grandpa's. I've recorded people, you know? I didn't make a beat for a famous artist, but I made beats for myself. I made beats for other people. I like I haven't done those things to that like certain extent to like, oh, well, he's, he's successful because he's done this for this person. He's done it for that person. I feel like because I've done it, I've already lived the life that I wanted to live. I already made YouTube videos. I look at myself as a YouTuber. I already recorded over 100 songs. I looked at myself as an artist. I've traded and learned how to trade. I didn't make a million dollars off of it, but I made whatever. Like, I've done something. And I feel like because of that mindset, it made me feel like so. Even if you don't succeed in this area, at least you can say you did it. Even if you don't become the biggest artist in the world, you still made music that people told you, hey, this helped me out in this way or in that way. Even though I didn't financially put my whole family in a better position, I still made some amount of money. I still learned how this stuff works. I still did this, I still did that. Even though I didn't become the biggest, most influential person in the world, I still influenced five or six people. I still made a TikTok that went 100,000 views. It wasn't a million, but it was over 100,000. Like I, I feel like I've done things in life to where it's like, if it all stopped now, I can say at least I did these things instead of wishing I did those things. And I feel like that's what's really holding me back, feeling like because I've already done certain stuff, it don't matter if I became successful from it or not, I still did it. I wasn't in any movies, but I created cinematic vlogs to where I can look at like, damn, that looks dope as shit. Like, that's me. And I'm okay with that. And that may not be okay to a lot of people. Like, oh, well, you ain't really do shit, bro. Like, you just, you did it, but you didn't do it. But I look at it like, although I didn't make it, becoming, I guess what you would say, famous or known or whatever the case may be, I still did it. There's a billion people in this world doing a lot of things that I've done too. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like because I've done it, yeah, I did it. If the world stopped right now, like I can say, hey, I made songs for people that got over a thousand of views, hundred thousand of views. I made YouTube videos that got over 10K views or my YouTube channel had like 300,000 total views. So like, you know, that happened or I got a TikTok and it hit over a hundred thousand views. And you know, I, I've done certain stuff in life that I feel like, okay, cool, I did it. I didn't become anything from it, but I, I still can say I did it. I feel like I've already lived my life pretty much. Like, I feel like I've already done everything I said I wanted to do. Yeah, I didn't become famous from none of this shit, but I still did it. So like, if, if my life was saying right now, I wouldn't be upset. Like, obviously like, damn, I wish I could have actually became famous or actually became not famous, but like wealthy from certain things that I've learned or 
put my family in a better position in life or retired my mom, moved my grandma out into a house to where she ain't got to do nothing else or put my whole family, not whole family, but I like put my people on payroll to where they don't have to work a day and they have to just enjoy life, you know what I'm saying? But again, I didn't get to that point yet. And I don't know if I'm gonna get to that point because again, I wake up every day saying it don't matter. And I shouldn't say that, but again, it's me telling myself it don't matter and, and calming myself down from stressing myself out and overthinking everything like, damn, I need to do this right now. It's the only thing helping me from freaking out and being like, damn, bro, your life is over. You've done so many things that you can't fix or you're not gonna be able to change. So now you just have to live with it. And it's, I have to keep telling myself it don't matter. At the end of the day, the day gonna end. You take that how you want it, but that's just the truth. At the end of the day, the day is going to end. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just had to keep telling myself it don't matter. And I, I know that's probably not the healthiest thing, but stress myself out about a lot of shit wasn't good either so yeah reality I really really like really really like touched touched like reality and I was living in this like made a world like not that I have everything but like that I don't have enough or like you're not good enough or you're not this, you're not that. I felt like I wasn't, I felt like I'm not the type of person who deserved to have certain things or deserve to be successful, deserve to be this. And not to say it to make nobody feel bad, but the only reason I feel that way is because like, as hard as I've been working over these past years and I still haven't achieved nothing, how I, at least that's how I feel. Working as hard as I have over these past years and still not achieving anything has made me feel like maybe I don't deserve it because it hasn't happened yet. And I know that sounds bad, that's just how I feel. Don't come at me, this is how I feel. Um, it could be the negative, obviously the negative point of my, the negative me speaking, which it obviously is, but it's just like, that's just how I feel. Like three years on YouTube, I haven't hit 10K, even though I haven't been consistent, but it's at the same time of like, it's not that I wasn't trying to be consistent. It's like my equipment wasn't working. There was always something getting in the way. Me not being around to make a video or me not being in a position to make a video or being in the hospital, you know, two weeks at a time to get my mental together or being sick with something. Like it's, it's it was always something coming up. Main thing was just depression getting in the way. You know, wasting a lot of time feeling like, oh, it don't matter. <laughs> um, It'll never happen, so why are you stressing about it? Like, you'll never be successful doing this. That's not even what you really want to do. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like being stressed out about something that don't matter is crazy. So, like, because it didn't matter, like, oh, for YouTube is not my passion. I just, I enjoy doing it, but it's not what I want to do in my life. Like, what I want to do in my life is music. So, like, if YouTube didn't work out, that would be fine. But it's like, over the past three years, at one point I was so consistent, posting every day, posting every other day, posting more than just once a month or once every three months. And then you have people that come and post once every month and they are surpassing you by crazy numbers. I'm talking about like hundreds of thousands of views, hundreds of thousands of followers. And you're like, damn, I did this shit every day for a couple months straight and I'm barely seeing like, what am I doing wrong? Like, getting better equipment, getting better thumbnails, getting better ideas, like having better editing, and it's still not getting the views that I feel like it deserves. So it's like, again, it don't matter. That's not what you really want to do this. So I look at it like, because it's not taking off the way you feel, maybe that's not what you're supposed to be doing in life. So every other day I'm waking up like, God, what am I supposed to be doing with my life? Like, music, that ain't work. That ain't, I've been doing that since 2018 and ain't shit happening. That's so like, damn, maybe that's not it. You too, oh, over the past couple years, becoming consistent and still not really seeing a big, big difference. Like, maybe that's not it either. And then it's like, what do I do? And I can't find out what's I'm, what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I just don't need to be doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm just the type of person who's gonna go through life, experience fucked up shit. Nothing's gonna change and then I die. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's just how I feel. Like. Some people really go through crazy shit in life. Stuff happens, stuff don't get better, and they die. That's just the reality of everything. Um, I 
can understand if I was just sitting back not doing shit and just accepting, oh, well, it's just what life is. But it's like I wake up, do different things, different, you know, go to the gym, write down to go, read a book, uh, learn a different skill, talk to somebody and try to teach them something or motivate them to do better, you know, eat better, meditate, pray, uh, positive affirmations. Like I would do all those things over the years and life would get harder, which was weird. And I would feel like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to switch up something. So I go back to the old ways and things would kind of like get normal again. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Like, when I was just depressed, not wanting to do shit, life didn't seem so crazy. But now that I'm trying to do better, life has hit me with all these different obstacles. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck do I do? So, again, reality is often disappointing. So, I guess just tapping into reality and, and trying to, like, be here, be present, be, be in the now and not in my own actual fake word that I created like a lot of things I had to accept like maybe life just isn't meant for me to be the happiest most successful person maybe I just have to live life for what I'm what's what it is right now like just live what I'm going through and, and whatever happens happens because it's gonna happen anyway a lot of people probably gonna take this in a bad in a bad way but like I can't I can't tell you how to feel about what I'm saying But yeah, reality is what it is. So, um, I'm going to continue to make videos and posts. And I'm just going to talk about what I feel, how I feel, what's on my mind. But like, again, understand this is just me explaining how I feel. This is not me saying this is right or wrong. This is just how I feel for the moment or how I've been feeling for whatever. So don't try to like judge me for what I say or try to come at me like, oh, well, don't say that or look at it as, oh, he's just looking for attention. This is just how I feel for the now. I'm not saying, oh my God, my life is terrible. Whoa, 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 me. It's just like, I've accepted the fact that some people really are brought into this world for other people to see like, damn, my life could have been that way, but I'm, I'm doing this instead. Or some people are brought into this world to experience fucked up shit. There's like, there's gonna be you can't have good without bad because if it's always good you wouldn't know what good is you wouldn't have nothing to compare it to so it's like i really feel like you have to have some bad in order to have good because if you didn't have any bad then that good wouldn't be a good it'd just be <sighs> that shit cut off and i don't know when it cut off but um long story short i accept who i am I be negative a lot, but that's just what I know. Um, a lot of positive things I try just don't seem to make big of a difference. And it's not like, oh, you only tried it for a day. No, I went months, months, six, seven months, eight months. And a lot of people say it takes, what, 90 days to change a habit? I mean, you can change a habit, but the world and the outcome and life is still going to do whatever it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You could be the most positive person in the world, but... Your best friend still gonna have to pass away at some point. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's the only way I can that's the only thing I can think of to like get people to really understand the perspective or something like you could be the best person in the world. You can go to church, you can pray, you can be the nicest, most wholesome human being in the entire world. And some of the craziest, most traumatic shit can still happen to you. It's just the reality of life. Like I've tried so many positive things for six, seven months straight, and there is literally no difference in life. I got new friends, I got a decent paying job, I ended up getting a car, and I will go through life trying to uplift and, and motivate and help others in any type of way, and look at how I ended up. I have no job, I have hardly any money that I can do anything with. A lot of fucked up shit has been shown to me throughout this year. And I'm not a bad person at all. I'm not the best person in the world, but I'm far from a bad person. 
bad things still happen. I prayed, I meditated, I wrote down positive affirmations, I read off positive affirmations. I got the shit written on my wall. I got it on my phone. I get notifications every other hour telling me certain things to say. And it, nothing changed, bro. Nothing changed. So, again, you just have to figure out who you are as a person and accept who you are as a person. I try to force myself to be a positive person and I'm not a positive person. That's that's cool. I'm not negative 24-7, but at times when negativity happens, it's like, okay, let it happen. Acknowledge it, process it, move on from it. You know what I'm saying? Some people come into this world to be, be that. Well, we're up here and this person now is here. Would you rather do this in life or would you rather be here in life? Like some people have to be this type of people. You go through life. Some people work hard their whole life and again, don't get shit in return. They just worked hard their whole life and then died. I've worked hard and I just started to say fuck it because why am I working so hard? Why am I stressing myself out trying to change my life and everybody? Well, not necessarily my life, but why am I stressing myself out to try to change everybody else's life around me when they're not thinking even a split second about, oh, I wonder how this nigga day going. I don't know. Reality is crazy. I had to learn to accept it. I am who I am. Not much is probably going to ever change because when I was trying to change it, nothing really changed over the course of six, seven, eight months, months to a year, let's say. A lot of things started to change in 2017. Um, that's when I learned about manifestation and all that and from 2017 until now i can honestly say a lot of shit got bad so it is what it is i will catch y'all in the next video